Hey everyone, you with Tesla Tom, and thanks so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel where I discuss Tesla, electric vehicles, and renewable energy. If this is your first time to my channel, then hello and welcome. Take a moment to hit that red subscribe button, that way you stay informed of any new content, and it also helps my channel to grow as well. Today we are going to look at my summer power bill here in Sydney, Australia. We're going to do that and much more right after this. Alright guys, quick reminder about myself. I have a family of four living here in Sydney, Australia. We've got a pool which runs a pool pump for four hours a day over the summer months. We've got 8.4 kilowatts worth of solar panels and I've got a 13.5 kilowatt hour Tesla Powerwall 2 which is now four years of age. We've also got two electric cars as well, a Model S and a Model 3. Right, let's take a look at our electricity bill here, and as you can see, we are with AGL, one of the power companies here that supplies us in Sydney, Australia. Scrolling down the bill now, you'll see that the bill covers the 4th of November 2020 to the 1st of February 2021, a period of 90 days, which is pretty much the summer months here in Sydney. Our home here in Sydney has used 184 kilowatt hours over the last 90 days and that is much less than a one-person household in my area and far less than a two-person household. As you can see down here it says the average usage data supplied by Australian energy regulator based on homes with a pool during summer which is like our home and you can see down here that the average daily cost was zero dollars and zero cents that's always good and average daily usage was 2.05 kilowatt hours a bit higher than last year 1.84 kilowatt hours and I think that's because we didn't go on any major holidays this year given that of course we are in uh, the COVID pandemic and here's a nice little graph showing the last 12 months of usage in my home and as always the peak electricity usage seems to happen around the winter months here in our home where we use a lot of the heating to warm our bedrooms overnight particularly for the children to keep them warm and toasty and over the summer months between sort of October, November, December, January, February there's not much usage at all, which is great. And this little blue box here showing the bill overview. Paid my bill in full last time. And new charges, I was in credit this time, $11.85. And no payment required, which is always good. And I'll go through this bill showing why I was in credit. All right, so let's look at page two now. I'm on the electric car plan with AGL, which entitles me to charge my electric cars, both electric cars, for $1 per day, which is always good. And uh, this is the meter readings for each category, each uh, time of use, and I'll go through that in more detail as well. Having a look at my previous bill, previous balance of $85.92, and that was the spring months in Sydney, so that was already a pretty good bill, very low usage there. And I paid my bill in full with a $25.87 discount because I paid on time, pretty big discount there, 22%. And scrolling down, this is this month's usage here. So I'm on a time of use plan and the price is different depending on when I use the electricity. So for example, peak is between 2 to 8 p.m. on a weekday and that's priced at 53.9 cents per kilowatt hour. And we used 13.401 kilowatt hours, $7.22 for 90 days. Off peak is uh, between 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. each day. And that's 14.95 cents per kilowatt hour. And we used 116.854 kilowatt hours, bringing it to a total of $17.47. Shoulder is pretty much every other time in between peak and off peak. So generally after dinner and uh, also between breakfast and say 2 p.m. in the afternoon when everyone's starting to come home from school and work. So that's priced at 22.95 cents per kilowatt hour. We use 53.806 kilowatt hours, $12.35 overall. This controlled load thing is uh, generally used for hot water, but um, I put my hot water system now, which is a heat pump by the way, very efficient onto uh, the main sort of meter. And that runs sort of during the daylight hours and uh, usually covered by solar energy, which is great. So essentially uh, hot water is free. I know there's an opportunity cost because we're not feeding into the grid for the times the heat pump is running, but uh, I'm not paying anything on the controlled load too. 
supply charge is 96 cents per day, $86.40. And as you can see, by far the highest subcategory, bringing the total amount to $123.44. And this is before GST, which is our tax here in Australia. And uh, we managed to produce 1,459.536 kilowatt hours for an 8.4 kilowatt system over 90 days, which we fed back to the grid. And uh, that's priced at 9.5 cents per kilowatt hour. A little bit low, I know, but I guess that's a compromise for being on this fantastic AGL $1 per day electric car plan that equates to a credit of $138.66. $8.15 credit for paying on time if I do and uh, that brings a total new charges of $23.37 with a total GST of $11.52 which means that my account is now $11.85 in credit which is fantastic which is why I love summer sunshine warm weather off work and a credit balance with my electricity bill what more can I ask for right and as usual, I'd like to show you a running total of my last four power bills. And as you can see there, autumn between Feb and May 2020, 104.84. Winter, May to August 2020, $358.85. As I said, we use the most amount of electricity in winter. That's certainly reflected here in this table. Spring, August to November 2020, $60.05. And then this most recent bill, summer, November 2020 to Feb 2021, credit of $11.85. So over the last 12 months, I've been only charged $511.89. And comparing this year to last year, same time last year, the bill was $25.03. And the current bill is a credit of $11.85. You might ask, why is it in credit this time? And why did I pay a bit more last time? It's because AGL hasn't been putting the electric car plan charge onto my most recent power bills, this one and the last one. So uh, being transparent here, I'm not sure why they're not doing it, but hey, I'm sure they'll put it on my bill eventually. So there's uh, a credit now on my account for now. And the last thing I want to go through with you guys is uh, just to show you the performance of our Tesla Powerwall 2 over the last three months. January, my house was 93% self-powered of which 62% was solar, 31% was from the Powerwall, and we uh, produced uh, 1,114 kilowatt hours of solar, and the home used 619 kilowatt hours. So there was a 180% energy offset from solar. In December, we were 97% self-powered, 63% from solar, 34% from Powerwall. We produced 1,020 kilowatt hours from solar. The home used 607 kilowatt hours. And there was a 168% energy offset. And going back to November, the house was 94% self-powered, 64% from solar, 30% from Powerwall. And we produced 1,185 kilowatt hours of solar. The home used 587 kilowatt hours. And there was a 202% energy offset. So that's interesting that uh, uh, there was more of an offset in November compared to uh, December and January. Alright guys, well that is my electricity bill for the last three months in summer here in Sydney, Australia. As you can see, I'm pretty happy with the bill, given that we're in credit. Accounting for the fact that the electric car plan hasn't been added to this bill yet. But nevertheless, looking pretty healthy there with a credit balance on my electricity bill account. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And of course, subscribe if you haven't done so already yet. And uh, leave a comment below if you've just received your latest power bill. Are you happy with it? Could you have used less power? Are you going to add more solar? Will you add a battery? Uh, leave all your comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Alright guys, stay safe. Until the next video, happy charging.